all the combinations of hooking up game pads to different computers, the combo of a PS4 controller with the Mac is one of the easiest to set up. You shouldn't even have to download any extra drivers. Here's how you connect your PS4 controller to Mac via both Bluetooth and wired. If you game on your Mac, you're probably itching for a decent controller. You could open up your wallet and shell out your hard earned dollars for a dedicated Mac gamepad, or you may have an excellent controller for your Mac already in your possession. If you have a Sony PlayStation 4, you can use the DualShock 4 controller with your Mac. This is especially useful since Steam now offers full DualShock 4 support across Mac and PC. This means you won't have to mess with any additional settings when playing a controller supported Steam game. Sound good? Let's see how it all works. Connect your DualShock 4 controller to your Mac wirelessly. Once upon a time, Sony manufactured and sold an official PC adapter for the DualShock 4 controller. You can still get your hands on one today, however it is discontinued and at the time of this video runs to more than the controller itself. Fortunately there's a way to connect your DualShock 4 controller to your Mac using nothing more than its built-in Bluetooth. This is a great option because it doesn't require any additional hardware and you won't have to contend with a tangle of cables. To get started, open up System Preferences on your Mac. You can do this by either clicking the Apple icon and clicking System Preferences in the drop-down or typing System Preferences in Spotlight. Once the System Preferences window has appeared, locate the option labelled Bluetooth and click on it. Ensure that your Mac's Bluetooth is on before moving to the next step. At this point, grab your DualShock 4 controller and put it into discovery mode so that your Mac can see it. To do this, press and hold the PS button and the share button simultaneously. The light on the front of the controller should flash on and off if you are successful. On your Mac, check the devices panel in the Bluetooth settings. This is where the DualShock 4 controller will appear once your Mac has found it. The DualShock 4 will show up as wireless controller. Click on it to pair it. The DualShock 4's light will stop blinking and stay a solid colour once it has successfully paired to your Mac. Connect your DualShock 4 controller to your Mac using a micro USB cable. If you don't want to mess around with Bluetooth or your Mac's Bluetooth isn't working for some reason, you can connect your DualShock 4 to your Mac using a micro USB cable. Using a micro USB cable may not be ideal, however it is a surefire hassle-free way to use your DualShock 4 controller with your Mac. To get started, plug in your DualShock 4 controller to your Mac via a micro USB cable. Then press the PS button on your DualShock 4 controller to turn it on. You should see the light on the front of the controller turn on indicating that it is ready to be used. That's it, your DualShock 4 is ready to go. To make sure that your Mac recognises your DualShock 4 controller, click the Apple icon in the top left of your screen. From there click on About This Mac, System Report. This will open up a new window. In the column on the left, select USB. You should be presented with the USB device tree. In this list you will see an option labelled USB bus. How many you see will depend on how many USB ports your Mac has. You can expand this information by clicking the little arrow next to the USB bus. Doing so will show you the device connected to that particular USB port, i.e. a keyboard. Upon connecting your DualShock 4, one of your USB ports should read wireless controller. If so, your DualShock 4 is recognised and should work with your Mac. Do you use your DualShock 4 controller with your Mac? If not, which controller would you recommend for gaming on a Mac? Let us know in the comments below. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.